स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज किशोर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स आक्सफर्ड एंड विवेक ग्रुप ऑफ स्कूल्स पचूर एंड इंगोल टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एनालिटिकल ज्योमेट्री कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री वाज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय रेने डिस्कर्स सो द फादर ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री इज रेने discuss in this session i will give an introduction to the coordinate geometry listen carefully in a plane there are two lines one is horizontal line and another one is vertical line in a plane there are two lines one is horizontal line and another one is vertical line horizontal line is called x axis and vertical line is called y axis horizontal line is called x axis and vertical line is called y axis these two axes meet at a point is called origin 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 is denoted by capital o two axes meet at a point is called origin origin is denoted by o so x axis is known as x x dash and y axis is known as y y dash see here two axes divide the plane into four equal parts 1 2 3 4 these two axes divide the plane into four equal parts each part is called quadrant each part is called quadrant so taken in anti clockwise direction this is quadrant 1 q1 quadrant 2 q2 quadrant 3 q3 and quadrant 4 q4 okay here ox is the positive direction of the x axis so take some positive integers on ox some positive integers 1 2 3 4 and ox dash is the negative direction of the x axis so take some negative integers on ox dash minus 1 minus 2 Minus three, minus four. Similarly, O Y is the positive direction of the Y axis. So take some positive integers on O Y. One, two, three, four. And finally, O Y dash is the negative direction of the Y axis. So take some negative integers on O Y dash. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Now. In quadrant one, what are the coordinates of the point? See here, on x-axis here positive integers, so positive values. X coordinates are positive values, and also here also positive integers plus values. So positive means more than zero, greater than zero. So x grad x coordinates are positive, that is x greater than zero. Y coordinates are also positive. Y coordinates are, are also positive means greater than zero. In quadrant one, x greater than zero and y also greater than zero. X greater than means x greater than zero means x coordinate is positive and y greater than zero means y coordinate is also positive. So in quadrant one, both are positive. In quadrant two, x coordinates are negative. Negative means Less than zero, so x less than zero, but y coordinates are positive. Positive means greater than zero, so y greater than zero. So x less than zero means x coordinates are negative. Y greater than zero means y coordinates are positive. In quadrant three, x coordinates are negative, so negative means x less than zero here. Y coordinates are also negative. Negative means y less than zero. 
x less than 0 means minus y less than 0 means minus both are negative finally quadrant 4 x coordinates are positive so x greater than 0 but y coordinates are negative so y less than 0 x greater than 0 means plus y less than 0 means minus in quadrant 1 x coordinate x coordinate is a positive and y coordinate is also positive in quadrant 2 x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive in quadrant 3 x coordinate is negative and y coordinate also negative finally in quadrant 4 x coordinate is positive and y coordinate is negative now take an example let a point p Take a point P, 3 comma 4. Here, 3 is called, 3 is called X coordinate. Or, abscissa. Here, 3 is, in point P, 3 comma 4, 3 is called X coordinate or abscissa. 4 is called y coordinate or alternate 4 y coordinate or alternate so first value first in point p 3 comma 4 3 is called x coordinate or abscissa 4 is called y coordinate or alternate ok it belongs to which quadrant so check here there are 4 quadrants quadrant 1 quadrant 2 quadrant 3 and quadrant 4 first observe the sign of x coordinate what is the sign of x coordinate here this is a plus 2 so sign of x coordinate is a plus and sign of y coordinate is also plus so plus comma plus which quadrant see here so plus comma plus is a quadrant 1 so plus comma plus lies in quadrant 1 so 2 comma 3 lies in quadrant 1 so 2 comma 3 belongs to quadrant 1 so so observe the second point what is the sign of x coordinate here the sign of x coordinate is negative minus sign of y coordinate is a plus a positive minus comma plus a. minus comma plus a. belongs to quadrant 2 so minus 2 comma 1 belongs to quadrant 2 next the third one minus 3 comma minus 4 the sign of x coordinate is minus and also sign of y coordinate is minus both are negative minus comma minus so minus comma minus belongs to quadrant 3 so minus 3 comma minus 4 belongs to quadrant 3 next observe the final point 4 comma minus 5 the sign of 4 is a positive that is a plus and the sign of y coordinate is a negative minus so plus comma minus so plus comma minus belongs to quadrant 4 so both are positive quadrant 1 belongs to quadrant 1 both are negative belongs to quadrant 3 so x coordinate is a negative and y coordinate is a positive belongs to quadrant 2 x coordinate is positive and y coordinate is negative belongs to q4 this is the basic introduction of the coordinate geometry i will explain about distance formula so distance formula let a x1 comma y1 and b x2 comma y2 be a points b any two points in a plane let a x1 comma y1 a is the first point so x coordinate is x1 and y coordinate is y1 and b is the second point so x coordinate is x2 and y coordinate is y2 so a x1 comma y1 and b x2 comma y2 b any two points are in a plane then the distance between A and B 
is the distance between a and b is so this is the distance for the square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so this is the distance for the see once again a x1 comma y1 and b x2 comma y2 be any two points in a plane then the distance between these two points is the formula is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square next distance of a point from the origin now see another formula distance of a point from the origin distance of the point from the origin let a x comma y be a point on a plane then the distance of the point a from the origin is the distance of the point the distance of the point a from the origin is is the formula is square root of x square plus y square here x means a coordinate x coordinate here y means a y coordinate so distance of a point a x comma y from the origin is square root of x square plus y square in x is 1.1 first one is find the distance between the following pairs of points find the distance between the points so first one 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 1 find the distance between these two points so what is the formula distance formula distance formula is equal to distance formula is equal to what is the formula square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so see here here first point is 2 comma 3 so take first point as x1 comma y1 and second point as x2 comma y2 so this is x1 y1 x2 y2 so substitute here so x2 value x2 is 4 x2 value 4 4 minus x1 value 2 4 minus 2 whole square plus next y2 y2 value 1 1 minus here y1 y1 value 3 1 minus 3 whole square x2 4 minus x1 2 whole square plus y2 value 1 minus y13 whole square that equal to square root of 4 minus 2 2 whole square plus 1 minus 3 minus 2 whole square that equal to square root of 2 square value 4 and minus 2 square also plus 4 that equal to square root of 4 plus 4 8 8 can be written as 4 into 2 4 2 are 8 here root 4 value 2 into root 2 units this is the distance between given two points now second problem minus 5 comma 7 and minus 1 comma 3 find the distance between these two points so we can use a distance formula Distance formula is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. So that equal to so first one, first point we can take as x1 comma y1. Second point we can take as x2 comma y2. Here x2 and this one is a y2 x1 y1 
x2 y2 so substitute the values of x1 x2 y1 y2 so now first one x2 what is the x2 value see here x2 value is a minus 1 next minus x1 value minus 5 so minus 5 whole square x2 value minus 1 minus x1 value minus 5 whole square whole square plus y2 y2 value 3 plus 3 minus y1 value 7 3 minus 7 whole square that equal to square root of minus 1 minus into minus plus plus 5 whole square plus 3 minus 7 3 minus 7 value minus 4 whole square that equal to square root of minus 1 plus 5 Plus a four whole square plus minus four whole square sixteen four square value sixteen that equal square root of four square value four into four sixteen plus a sixteen that equal to root of thirty two thirty two can be written as a sixteen two zero thirty two that equal to root sixteen value four four into root of two units four root of two units next term. Third problem. See third problem. Minus two comma minus three and three comma two. We can find distance between these two points. So, what is the formula here? Distance of formula. Distance of formula is equal to is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. See here, first point we can take it as x1 y1, and the second point x2 y2. So distance formula. Substitute x1 x2 y1 y2. Here first one x2. What is the x2 value? So x2 value is a three three minus. X1 value minus two, so minus two. Here two symbols, so you can use bracket. X2 value three minus X1 value minus two, whole square plus Y2. Y2 value two minus Y1 value minus three, whole square. The equal to square root of three minus into minus plus. Plus two whole square plus two minus into minus plus plus three whole square that equal to square root of three plus two five five square plus two plus three five five square that equal to square root of five square value twenty five twenty five plus here also five square value twenty five twenty five plus twenty five. Fifty root fifty that equal to square root of root fifty can be written as twenty five two zero twenty five into two that equal to root twenty five value five five into root two units. So the distance between given two points is five root two units.